Ever wondered why finding the perfect partner in Singapore feels like searching for a needle in a haystack? It's a question many of us ask ourselves when we're knee-deep in the dating pool, trying to navigate the choppy waters of modern relationships. It often feels like a daunting task, doesn't it? The quest for love can sometimes seem like an elusive treasure hunt, where the treasure keeps changing locations, but don't despair. The first step is understanding the concept of an ideal partner. Now, this is not about crafting a list of must-have attributes or hunting for a flawless individual. No, an ideal partner is someone who compliments you, someone whose values align with yours, and someone with whom you can build a shared future. Yet how do we even begin to find this person in Singapore? Well, the journey starts from within. Self-awareness plays a pivotal role in this quest. Before embarking on this adventure, it's essential to understand your needs, your values, your aspirations. What do you want from a relationship? What are your deal breakers? What kind of future do you envision? This introspection is not about being self-centered or narcissistic. It's about knowing what you're looking for. It's about identifying the kind of partner who would add value to your life. It's about recognizing what you can offer to a relationship. You see, finding an ideal partner is not just about them. It's also about you. It's about understanding that relationships are a two-way street. They're about give and take, about shared dreams and shared responsibilities. They're about growing together, learning together, and building a life together. So why does finding an ideal partner seem like such a challenge? Perhaps because we're often looking in the wrong places or maybe because we're not entirely sure what we're looking for, but with a little self-awareness, a dash of patience, and a sprinkle of perseverance, the quest for love in Singapore can become a rewarding journey rather than a daunting task. Remember, your ideal partner is not just about them, but also about what you bring to the table. Before embarking on this quest, take a moment to look within yourself. The journey to meet your ideal partner is not just about finding the right person, but also about understanding yourself. Self-reflection is crucial in this process. It's about exploring your inner landscape, understanding your values, needs, and wants, and identifying what truly matters to you in a relationship. Picture yourself on a serene beach, the gentle waves lapping at your feet as you ponder these questions. What are your core values? What are your needs and wants in a relationship? Are you looking for a partner who shares your love for adventure or one who appreciates quiet evenings at home, a shared sense of humor or a shared passion for social causes? Just as a lighthouse guides ships to safe harbor, your values guide you in your relationship journey. They help you navigate the turbulent seas of dating, steering you towards those who align with your authentic self and away from those who don't. Your values are your compass, your guiding star in the quest for love, but understanding your values is just part of the equation. You also need to identify your deal breakers and non-negotiables. These are the things that you absolutely cannot compromise on in a relationship. They could be anything from smoking habits to financial responsibility, from religious beliefs to attitudes towards family. Why are deal breakers and non-negotiables so important? because they lay the foundation for a relationship that's built on mutual respect and understanding. They help you avoid potential pitfalls and heartache down the line. And they ensure that you and your partner are on the same page, working towards a shared vision of your future together. So as you embark on this quest, remember to take a moment to look within yourself. Reflect on your values, needs, and wants. Identify your deal breakers and non-negotiables. Because knowing yourself is not just about self-awareness, it's about self-empowerment. Knowing yourself is the first step to knowing what you need in a partner. Step out of your comfort zone and open doors to new possibilities. This is the mantra that will guide us through this next segment. As we navigate our way through the quest for love, it's important to realize that the world is an oyster, teeming with potential pearls of companionship. Take a moment to reflect on your daily routines. Human beings are creatures of habit, and often our habits can create a comfort zone that limits our exposure to new people and experiences. But what if we made a conscious effort to change that? Consider joining social events, for instance. Whether it's a cooking class, a book club, or a hiking group, 
These gatherings are not just about indulging in your interests. They're about connecting with others who share those interests. They're about meeting new people, sparking conversations, and who knows, maybe stumbling upon someone who'd turn out to be that special someone. Volunteering is another great way to expand your horizons. It not only gives you an opportunity to give back to the community and make a difference, but it also connects you with like-minded individuals who value compassion and empathy. These shared values can often serve as a strong foundation for a meaningful relationship. And then there's the modern marvel of online dating. It's a platform that brings the world to your fingertips, breaking down geographical barriers and introducing you to a vast pool of potential partners. While it's important to navigate this space with caution, being open-minded and taking the initiative to reach out can lead to surprising connections. But remember, expanding your horizons is not just about meeting new people. It's about personal growth. It's about embracing change, overcoming fears, and learning to be comfortable with the unfamiliar. Because every new person you meet, every new experience you encounter, shapes you and enriches your journey in the quest for love. So step up, step out, and be open to the world. Be it a random encounter at a coffee shop, a shared smile at a charity event, or a swipe right on a dating app, the opportunities are endless. Remember, the right person might be just around the corner waiting for you to say hi. Communication is the bridge between you and your ideal partner. Now let's talk about why effective communication is so crucial. It's through communication that we express our thoughts, feelings, and desires. It's how we show empathy, understanding, and affection. It's how we resolve disputes and build stronger bonds. Without effective communication, it's like trying to navigate a maze in the dark. So how can you enhance your communication skills? Well, it starts with active listening. It's not just about hearing the words spoken by your partner, but truly understanding the underlying emotions and intentions. Active listening involves paying full attention, reflecting on what's being said, and responding thoughtfully. It's about making the other person feel heard and valued. Next, expressing oneself clearly is another key aspect. This isn't just about the words you say, but how you say them. Maintain a calm and respectful tone, even when discussing difficult topics. Use I statements to express your feelings, such as I feel or I think. This helps to reduce the chance of the other person feeling attacked or criticized. But remember, communication isn't just verbal. A significant part of it is nonverbal. This includes body language, facial expressions, and even silence. These nonverbal cues can convey a lot about a person's feelings and attitudes. So pay attention to these signals and try to understand what they're communicating. And don't forget, effective communication also involves the courage to be honest. Honesty fosters trust and respect. It's about being true to your feelings and being willing to share them even when it's tough. However, bear in mind that good communication takes practice. It's a skill that can always be improved. So don't be too hard on yourself if you're not a master communicator just yet. Keep practicing, keep learning, and you'll get there. In the end, good communication is more than just a tool for resolving issues or expressing love. It's a way to deepen your understanding of your partner, to build a stronger connection, and to foster a relationship that's based on mutual respect and understanding. Good communication is the foundation of any strong relationship. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a great relationship. So as we embark on this journey for the quest of an ideal partner in Singapore, we must remember to arm ourselves with two essential virtues, patience and persistence. Patience is the calm acceptance that things can happen in a different order than the one you have in mind. It's understanding that the journey towards finding your ideal partner might take longer than expected. It might be full of twists and turns, full of introductions to people who are not quite right, but that's okay. Each encounter is a learning experience, a stepping stone bringing you closer to the one. Persistence, on the other hand, is the firm continuance in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. It's about not giving up despite the disappointments and setbacks. It's about staying the course, keeping your eyes on the prize, and maintaining your efforts to find the one who truly compliments you. So how can we cultivate these virtues? Here are some tips. Firstly, practice mindfulness. Be present in each moment and take each day as it comes. 
Understand that every step in your journey has its purpose. Secondly, maintain a positive attitude. Positive thinking can help manage stress and even improve your health. Remember, it's not about finding the right person immediately, but about enjoying the journey. Thirdly, keep your expectations realistic. It's perfectly fine to have standards, but understand that no one is perfect. Be open to surprises, and you might find love in the most unexpected places. Lastly, remember to take care of yourself. Your well-being is crucial in this journey. Stay healthy, both physically and mentally. The road to finding your ideal partner might be long and winding, but with patience and persistence, you'll eventually get there. So keep going, remain hopeful, and trust the process. Remember, good things take time. So give yourself the gift of patience, stay persistent, and you'll surely find your way to the ideal partner you've been looking for. Compatibility is the glue that holds a relationship together. It's a simple truth, yet so profound. Compatibility is the magic ingredient that keeps the wheels of a relationship turning smoothly. But what does it mean to be compatible? Is it about having common interests like a shared love for jazz or a mutual disdain for pineapple on pizza? Or is it about agreeing on the big things like whether to have kids or how to manage finances? In reality, it's all of the above and more. Compatibility is multifaceted, encompassing emotional, intellectual, and lifestyle aspects. Emotional compatibility is about understanding and meeting each other's emotional needs. It's about being able to comfort your partner when they're down, share in their joys, and navigate the storms of life together. It's about speaking the same emotional language. Intellectual compatibility, on the other hand, is about being on the same wavelength mentally. It's about having stimulating conversations, challenging each other's ideas, and growing together. It's about respecting each other's intellect and valuing their perspectives. Then there's lifestyle compatibility. This is about sharing similar values and visions for the future. It's about agreeing on the fundamentals such as whether to live in the city or the countryside, how to spend and save money, and what role family and friends should play in your life. Compatibility doesn't mean you have to agree on everything. It's about being able to disagree respectfully, negotiate differences, and find common ground. It's about complementing each other, not mirroring each other. It's about being a team where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Compatibility isn't something that happens overnight, it's a journey, not a destination. It requires understanding, patience, and effort. It involves knowing yourself, knowing your partner, and finding the sweet spot where your worlds intersect. Compatibility might not be everything, but it's a big thing. It's the glue that binds two people together, turning a fleeting attraction into a lasting relationship. So when you're looking for your ideal partner in Singapore, don't just focus on the butterflies in your stomach. Pay attention to the compatibility factor it could make all the difference. So in Singapore, how do you find your ideal partner? Like the intricate steps of a dance, the journey towards finding your ideal partner is a blend of self-awareness, exploring new frontiers, clear communication, relentless patience, and deep understanding of compatibility. Let's take a step back and revisit the key points we have traversed in this enlightening journey. Our first stop was the self-reflection phase. Here, we emphasize the importance of understanding oneself. Knowing your own values, interests, and life goals is the first key to unlocking the door to your ideal relationship. It's like being the author of your own love story. You need to know your character first before you can write about the adventures. Next, we ventured into the realm of expanding horizons, encouraging you to step outside your comfort zone, to engage in new activities, meet new people, and embrace new experiences. By broadening your vistas, you increase your chances of crossing paths with your ideal partner. It's like casting a wider net in the vast ocean of love. Our journey then led us to effective communication. The art of expressing your thoughts, feelings, and expectations clearly and honestly. Remember, communication is a two-way street. It's not just about speaking, but also about listening, understanding, and respecting your partner's perspective. It's the bridge that connects two hearts. We then delved into the power of patience and persistence. Finding your ideal partner is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It requires time, patience, and the resilience to keep going even when things get tough. 
It's about understanding that, that love is not always about instant gratification, but a gradual process that grows with time. And finally, we explored the importance of compatibility. This is not just about shared interests or hobbies, but a deeper connection that aligns with your values, life goals, and perspectives. It's about finding that person who complements you, who makes you a better version of yourself and with whom you can build a fulfilling relationship. So there you have it. The quest for finding your ideal partner in Singapore is not a destination, but a journey. It's a path of self-discovery, exploration, communication, patience, and understanding. It's about finding that person who doesn't just complete you, but inspires you to be the best version of yourself. If you've enjoyed this informative video about finding your ideal partner in Singapore, why not give this video a thumbs up? Your likes are the compass that guides us in creating content that you love. And if you're already a part of our community, thank you. You are the wind beneath our wings. If you're new here and you found value in this video, consider joining the family. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to ensure you never miss out on a new enlightening video.